Who else remembers Sam Bruce? This guy's high school highlights looked like he had a force field around him because defenders couldn't even get close to touching him. Sports recruits even called him the most elusive high school football player ever. The speed, the moves, the hands. He was primed for the next level. But what happened to Sam Bruce, the guy who was supposed to be the next Tyreek Hill? Sam Bruce grew up where many football legends grow up, South Florida. The 5'8", 185-pound receiver went to the prestigious St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Fort Lauderdale. Early on, you could tell Sam was a gifted football player. He started playing varsity as a freshman and had some solid stats. He rushed for over 100 yards and caught the ball for almost 300 yards and had four touchdowns both on the ground and through the air. One of the best ways to describe Sam Bruce in high school is slippery. This guy made defenders look silly. In his entire time at St. Thomas Aquinas, he had almost 1,400 yards receiving and over 350 yards rushing with a total of 20 offensive tutties. When you have a weapon like Sam Bruce, you better be using him on special teams too. It didn't matter if it was punts or kicks, he was making guys look ridiculous on returns. Combined, he had almost 900 yards returning the ball. Sam was able to show off at Nike's The Opening and The Under Armour All-American game. He earned the ranks of a top 100 player in his class and was a four-star recruit. Sam's stats and talent outweighed his size, and he was getting tons of looks from the next level. He had offers from every college football powerhouse you can think of. Ultimately, he stayed close to home and played for the Miami Hurricanes. However, even before he got to Coral Gables, Sam had some off-the-field issues get in the way. He was photographed with a gun in his senior year of high school and was suspended for what was supposed to be the first three games of his college career. While on suspension, he suffered a non-football related leg injury and a bunch of other stuff stopped him from getting on the field on Saturdays. He had more run-ins with the law, was breaking team rules, sleeping through film, and even missed the bus to a game. Ultimately, Sam Bruce was dismissed from the team and never played a single down for the Canes. After his short time at Miami, Sam Bruce went the Juco route at Mississippi Gulf Coast and then bounced again to Southeastern University. He was in talks with the Edmonton Eskimos in the CFL, but was unable to play up north because he was too young, which honestly is a huge bummer. Imagine Sam Bruce being able to get running starts off the line and play in an offensive friendly league like the CFL. In 2019, Sam joined the Frisco Fighters, an indoor pro football league, and actually had former Last Chance U star Malik Henry throwing him the ball. Unfortunately, COVID cut the Frisco Fighters season short. Two years later, Sam Bruce is still in football shape. He was involved in the filming of American Underdog, The Kurt Warner Story, a movie based on the Hall of Famer's life. Hopefully the crazy quick receiver can make his way back onto a roster in an alternative league like the Fan Controlled Football League or even the USFL. What are some other players who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Riley Wynn with Jukes. See you on the next one.